today we're going to take a look at modern cloth diapers. And I've got a few samples here. Um, this one is an orange diaper, this one is white, and this is blue. And modern cloth diapers come in all kinds of colors. Um, previously, diapers kind of looked like this, and they were just plain white. But cloth diapers today, they come in all sorts of colors and lots of different styles of cloth diapers as well. So let's take a closer look at the old style cloth diapers and compare it to the new style. Okay, so if you're like me, this is the cloth diaper that you might have grown up with. It's uh, just one big square of cloth and the middle is sort of double thick and you probably had diaper pins on the side and so your parents would sort of wrap them around and pin them up and then there would be plastic pants and then there would be an ammonia bucket where you'd stick them all in. It was kind of a messy, inconvenient process. Well, modern cloth diapers are nothing like this, and so uh, we're going to take a closer look at some of the diapers that are in use today. Now, these are made by a company called Bum Genius, and they're not the only style, but they're the style that we happen to use. And there's uh, Fuzzy Buns is another popular one, but uh, you can see already how much they differ from the old style cloth diapers. These have a liner, and so while these old cloth diapers were just one sheet of, of cloth or cotton, things could leak through. Well, these new styles, there's this waterproof liner, and inside, in these particular diapers, there's a couple layers of cotton. So we've got one thick layer here, and another thick layer, and then there's another layer of cotton back here, and these are really absorbent. It's really tough for leaks or messes or anything to get through. Some diapers have inserts where there's actually a little pocket and you take this material basically and, and stuff it inside. And some parents prefer that. These don't happen to use that. We've hardly had any leaks on these and they're a really good style. And I, I recommend it for anyone looking into cloth diapers. And let's take a closer look at the, the snapping mechanisms. As you can see on this diaper here, there are all kinds of different settings that you can do. And so as your child grows, you can adjust the size of the diaper to fit. So if you have a small infant, you might go clear up to this size here, and we'll snap it on both sides. And you can even go smaller than this. Our son might have actually gone even smaller than this. And so that's a pretty small waist there, and so you can use these for a pretty small baby. And on these, there's actually different snaps for the, uh, the, the snugness up against the chest. And so if you have an older, taller child, you can undo these and have more vertical area here. And as your, as your child grows, you can adjust the snaps accordingly. And you don't have to do this uniformly. You can go uh, a couple snaps on one side. Like for instance, right now we do two snaps on one side, my wife and I with our son, two snaps on one side and three on the other. So we'll go three in here because he's not quite big enough for two snaps on each side, but he's a little too big for three snaps on each side. and. It, these are really durable snaps. Some diapers have Velcros, some have little hooks, but you're gonna find that almost any cloth diaper today is a lot more versatile and durable than anything that you might have grown up with. We'll just take a look at the blue one real quickly. Again, this is the same style. This is the Bum Genius. One size fits all. And what I'm gonna show you here is on the back, there's actually this elastic band. What this does is create a really tight fit around the legs and the back and tummy of your child. So really, once you get the snaps adjusted, there's not really much chance for leaking. And this actually prevents things from coming out the back. It sounds kind of gross, but it happens, as any parent knows. We've actually found these cloth diapers to be a lot more useful than disposable diapers. Now, we still use disposables from time to time if we're going on a trip or if we just run out of diapers. These, for instance, cost about $23 a piece, and that's a lot of money up front. But uh, it's a one-time expense, so it beats the cost in the long run of spending money every week and every month on disposables. But we still do keep disposables on hand for those times when uh, you just need one if, you're, if all these are in the wash. 
So let's take a look at how to wash these diapers and how to care for them. Okay, so the next part about cloth diapers is what to do with them before you clean them because you don't want to wash each cloth diaper individually as you go. What we do is we use diaper bags like this, and these are made by a company called Planet Wise, and there's a lot of different styles of uh, these waterproof bags. I think they're just called wet bags, and so if you go on Amazon and search for wet bag, you'll probably find a whole bunch. And once we change them, we keep these right next to uh, his changing area, and we just drop the diaper in. So for disposables, typically you just drop it in the trash. Well, here we just drop it in this bag. So there's really not much extra process in doing that. You uh, zip it closed, and this keeps them for, we keep these for about two days. We wash diapers every two days. And there's no smell, there's no mess that comes out of these bags. We've had these for, we've been using them for close to nine months now. And they're in just as good a shape as when we got them. We've actually got two different sizes here. This one that we use for the house, and a smaller one that we use for when we're going to different places around town, if we have to change them on the road, or for going on a trip, we'll use these diaper bags, and they're the same size. And we actually have two of each size. So again, there's a bit of an upfront cost, but in the long run, you're saving a lot of money. Now, if your uh, child has a pretty big mess, you might need to spray it off, spray the diaper off first. And we got a toilet sprayer. It's sort of like a kitchen sprayer, and it hooks up to your toilet. And you just sort of push the lever, and it sprays your diaper off. And that works really well. It doesn't really create any mess either. So after you change your child, put the diaper in here, zip it up, and let it sit until it's time to do laundry. Now, for laundry soap, you can't just use Tide or, uh, I guess, Clorox or one of the other laundry soaps. You gotta use a special soap yeah, because some soaps are hard on diapers. And we use this stuff here. It's called Charlie's Soap, and there's a lot of different kinds of soap that you can use. And if you do some searching online, you'll find different kinds. But this doesn't have any dyes or perfumes or things like that. And it does a really good job on the diapers. Gets them really clean. We actually use it for all of our clothes now. So instead of alternating between this and Tide, we just use this for everything. This one bottle does about 128 wash loads, and it says here, and we found that to be pretty accurate. As far as actually washing them, I'm going to show you a couple settings on the washer here that we found to be pretty helpful. We set the load size to medium, and we have 18 diapers, and so every two days we're washing about 15 or 16 diapers. We set temperature to hot, and this is important because you want to make sure that the water is hot enough to get all the stuff out of the diapers. Extra rinse is important, as you can see there, uh, because if you don't rinse it that second time, sometimes there can be a little bit of uh, residue left in the diapers. And we do everything over here on just a regular wash. We don't need to wash it on uh, uh, heavy duty or anything like that. We just do a regular wash. Now, if you have a front loading washer, it's probably about the same, but uh, we found that this is a, a pretty convenient way to clean the diapers. Let's go look at the dryer real quick here. One thing about the diapers is it takes a while to dry them. We set this on a 60 minute timer and we actually dry them twice where we turn them inside out the second time around. And uh, temperature to low, wrinkle shield off because it doesn't really matter if they're wrinkled and that'll just about do it. Now one other way to dry the diapers if you don't want to use the dryer is to go outside and use a clothesline. So let's step outside and we'll just walk you through the, the clothesline and uh, that'll be it for our tutorial. Now one other way to dry your diapers is to use a clothesline like this. And last summer we live in Oklahoma, it was over 100 degrees for two months and so almost every day we could dry the diapers outside. And if you don't have a big place, that's okay, we don't have that much room either, but we got an extendable clothesline and you can see it, it winds up here like this. So I'm just going to extend the clothesline over to this post that we put in. And once it's up, it's just a matter of putting the diapers on. Now, just like when the uh, when you use the dryer inside, you have to, we flip them inside out. So we'll let them sit for a couple hours and then flip them inside out. You also wanna make sure you know what side the sun is on. So right now the sun's actually behind me and I, if I were to do this for real, I would pin the diapers up like this, so the sun would be shining on the actual cloth part of the diaper here. 
and they usually take a couple hours to dry if, if it's really hot like last summer it'll dry in an afternoon otherwise you can put them out in the morning and come back in the afternoon so that's what if cloth diapers the the moral of the whole story is that it's a lot easier than what you might think they're really not that inconvenient and it's a way it's a far cry from the diapers that you might remember when you were a kid so if you haven't thought about cloth diapers i encourage you to give it a try